what's up folks welcome back to the channel um i'd have a pretty good day today um out at windrock park or actually what are we on the north side of the park or i'm not for sure north south east or west but we're in the Bryceville area we're not at the general store area we're actually on the other side of the park but uh we got a returning cast member riding with us today mr chuck what's up guys uh, he's been in the, the previous videos he was in. He, the first video he was in, Turbo S four seat velocity. Yep. Then he changed it to a Can Am Maverick Sport Max, Max yep. four seater on portals. And now he's uh, got this right here going on. Obviously, uh, Aaron's going to be uh, riding with us today. That's Aaron's KRX. And I've got a new machine. And which a lot of you probably already know what machine I've got, but uh, we'll get to all that here in just a minute. But uh, glad to have Chuck back riding with us. He's a heck of a driver, got a beast of a machine. What all you got going on there, sucker? I got a uh, 2019 Maverick X3, just the base model, the 120. Um, I do have the Turbo R kit at the house to make it 172. I got a Gen 3, four inch portals, did 30% on this one. Because going from a 28 to a 35, I thought 30% would be best. Got tender springs, Super ATV, A-arms. Uh, got a torque locker in the diff, so we're fully locked. And we got Super ATV trailing arms. And uh, that's pretty much about it. I guess one important thing to let you guys know is uh, I went with the sits one wheel on these 10 amps. So I'm only 73 inches wide. And uh, on the back, though... They won't work with the six one wheel. It'll actually rub the tire. We had to make like a six millimeter billet uh, we used with the plasma cutter to cut out. It's kind of like a little spacer thing. So in the back, it's almost level to a 5.2 wheel. So just for you guys knowing to run portals, uh, six one wheel will rub on the rear portal bracket. So just let you guys know. Got a new crash cage on that mean boy. Yeah, uh, I had it on there in the last uh, Pea Gravel Hill video. I don't, I don't think we really talked about it, but uh, it's a TQR fabrication cage. Uh, it come with the light bar, and I put it on its side one time already, and it done a, done a real good job. Uh, only other thing I've added to it is the Kawasaki Click 6 harnesses, and uh, I do like them. Yeah, you're, uh, you're kind of dirty there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, she didn't have time for a bath this weekend. Well, folks, that's their two machines. I guess we can uh, hop on over to my new rig. Decided to go KRX. And as of right now, it is uh, completely, it's bone stock. I've had it about three or four days. This is the uh, the first ride I'm going to have in it. I am keeping my YXZ. Uh, that will still there will still be YXZ content. I'll get into that here in a little bit in just a second. But about a year ago, give or take, I know definitely last winter I was kind of in the market to pick up a second machine. And at the time, I was considering getting the KRX then, but. About eight months ago, Aaron started riding with us with his KRX. And since Aaron started joining the channel, and I mean, he's done a phenomenal job showcasing what the potential of a KRX has. I mean, he's just, he's made stuff that is really difficult, but fairly easy. And so he's really, he really represented the KRX really well on the channel. So since Aaron started riding with us, I thought, well, maybe I need to go something a little different just to kind of keep variety going on with the with the channel. So my first choice was to go with the Can-Am X3 XRC RR. And uh, I figured that would have been a pretty good comparison with the KRX. And I actually put an order for that down in June. And I also ordered about $10,000 worth of upgraded parts. And I was told in June when I ordered it that I would, uh, the Can-Am would be here in August. So just, from June to August, with all the craziness going on in the world and all the ridiculous ridiculousness that we're having to experience, I started feeling a little bit apprehensive to spend forty thousand dollars in an off-road machine. So I started getting a little reluctant, and I was kind of changing my mind a bit and thinking I might ought to wait just a bit before I, I do that. And so I told the dealer, "Look, you've got my money and all that, but there's a possibility 
if it's going to be a while till the machine comes in, I may end up changing my mind. So uh, as time went on, and then come August, I found out in August, well, it's been pushed back until September. So I don't know if that had anything to do with the plant, the Can-Am plant that burnt down in Mexico. But for whatever reason, uh, the arrival of the X3 got pushed back till September. And so I just kind of figured, uh, I better back out. So I went ahead and told the dealer, man, I'm sorry, but I'm probably gonna put this on postponement, maybe, maybe work out something in the spring. But at the same time with my YXZ, I started having steering issues on the YXZ. A lot of play in my steering and it was popping pretty good. And I was thinking it was my heim joints. So the first thing we did was replace my outer heims. That didn't resolve it. Then the second thing we did, we replaced the inner heims along with the inner clevises and that didn't resolve it. So it actually, I guess I teamed up with a buddy of mine a week or so ago who uh, actually has a little bit of common sense and I actually looked at my steering rack when I was turning it. And what he noticed was my steering yoke had a massive amount of play in it and it was pretty much wore out. So we've narrowed it down to my steering yoke and my, my steering shaft and my steering yoke. I've already got one ordered. I've actually, it's at the dealer now. All I gotta do is go by and pick it up. But the only concern with that is once we get the yoke off, I'm just afraid that with all the play that was going on with the yoke, it could have possibly damaged my steering rack. That pinion piece that the yoke actually goes into and screws into. So once we get the yoke out, I'm hoping there's no damage to the rack or the threads or anything like that. And all we gotta do is replace the yoke and the shaft and it's good to go. But if there does turn out to be some damage to the rack, I know Yamaha's OEM racks are on back order until late October. Uh, I've already contacted Weller because that's the rack that I'm currently running is a Weller rack. And they said that they wouldn't have another rack in for three or four months. So if there is damage to the rack, maybe I can work it out with Weller to where I can send the rack back to them and they can fix it. But with that being said, as soon as I get the steering issue fixed with the YXZ, the y there still will be YXZ content. But yeah, I do have a lot of upgrades coming for this. Uh, wheels and tires, I'm gonna go with 35 inch Zillas, uh, 4.3 offset. Uh, system three wheels, winches, bumpers. Uh, I got skid plates coming. I've already received my tender springs. Me and Aaron's gonna swap out the tender springs on it. But yeah, I got a trail armor skid plate on the way. There might be a few more things that I've forgotten about. Um, I've, I'm talking to do two different people right now as far as a cage. Hoping to have a cage put on it within the next month. But folks, with that, um, today we're gonna take it kinda easy. We're not gonna do anything massive. Just I'm, I'm just breaking this machine in. Um, they may come up on some stuff. They may wanna hit. I may end up hitting it. I don't know. If it involves possibly having to use a winch, I'll probably sit that one out. I don't even have a winch put on it yet. But yeah, just more of a break-in ride for me. And if these guys decide they wanna do something crazy, we'll definitely get it on video. They may not. We may just make it a relaxing day and just kinda play it by ear. But we do plan on getting quite a bit of drone shots and uh some scenic stuff so guys sit back uh, if you haven't subscribed to the video yet hit that subscribe button uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet i should say um like the video subscribe to the channel uh folks again thanks for tuning in thanks for watching i hope you enjoy the video
Now there's several different ways to get down to Panther Rock from here. The trail, the trail is kind of split up in three different paths. I'm taking the easy way down. He was gonna take the harder one all the way to the left, but they got a tree blocking it. Yeah, it's just a bit of a rut here is all it is. Still a good spot to turn over though if you ain't careful. Here's a good one. Yeah, this machine's a beast for sure. Yeah.
bit different line. What you thinking about it, buddy? I don't know if the old sailor has got it. Nice. I'm bypassing it. steady speed, I think you'll go right up. You think the 31s has got it? Your bottom bath. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this one out. I ain't even got 30 miles on that thing yet. Stay tuned, folks. Radar base coming up. All right, so Mr. Chuck is about to try to come up through here. Uh, pretty steep, a steep set of stairs here. Pretty good hill, and that's a little higher than the hip up to this, so. We'll see if he turns over or not. I'm, yeah, the, rooting, I'm rooting for him. The stairs are too wide for all wheels to be on it. So he's going to be one side on the stairs, one side on the ground. Up to Aaron's waist. I gotta look easy. How'd I look so far? Did you look good so far? Huh? Good? You're planted everywhere. You're almost at the top. You're at.
Yeah, your back wheel came off the ground a bit. You're fixing to come down. Wow. Cut it this way. You think he's gonna turn over? What if you cut it hard right from there and try to go forward? Try to go right? Maybe try hard right and see if that feels any better. Ooh. Uh, I fell off. Yeah. Now you might be able to drive. Okay. I bet you can do it now. <laughs> Uh, he got close. Yeah, we just we just goofing off a little bit, folks. We're going to make our way to uh, an overlook Aaron knows about, an old cemetery. See you guys in a bit. I don't know who maintains this. Somebody keeps it nice and clean.
Is this three or four grays back here? Yeah. Wow. Actually, it looks like just two. Actually, it may just be one. It may just be one, I think. Added a new stone. Yeah, that's the original headstone, and they added him a new one. Wow. There's a little stone back there. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that was probably an original Windrock fella. Yep, out in the middle of nowhere, very tranquil. Kind of cool. Thought we'd come up here and pay our respects. Glad Aaron brought us up here to it. Yep. Chuck disappeared on us, but uh, not sure if we're going to do any more recording from here on out, folks. But uh, either way, folks, uh, an old cemetery somewhere close to 57. Mm-hmm.